Want to head back to Scotland. Uh, Amy Robach is there in Edinburgh, and I, I believe uh, I hate to uh, don't know if you were going to use this line now, but I heard you say it on GMA this morning that how is it possible that something that was intellectually inevitable for us all still came as such a surprise and a shock uh, to hear of the passing of the Queen? Yeah, no, and TJ, you and I remember exactly where we were yesterday when we heard the news. It was an unprecedented announcement from the palace saying uh, from the Queen's doctors that they were concerned for her health. And then we heard word, we got word that members of the royal family were all heading as quickly as they could to be by the Queen's bedside there in Balmoral. And that made people perk up and think this isn't what we've been used to hearing. This isn't something that the palace has ever announced. Announced before, and sure enough, in a few hours, we we all got that announcement. That announcement that, of course, we knew would one day come, and yet still, as you say, sent shockwaves around the world. The world mourning the passing of Britain's longest-serving monarch, Queen Elizabeth II, as new details emerge about her last moments. Two of her children, Charles and Anne, were with her during her final hours. The 96-year-old queen passed away peacefully at her beloved Balmoral estate in Scotland Thursday. Charles seen earlier in the day arriving by helicopter. Other royal family members racing to try to get there in time. Flying into Aberdeen Airport in Scotland. Prince William, solemn, on the tarmac. Spotted driving his uncles, Prince Andrew and Prince Edward, and Edward's wife Sophie to Balmoral. Harry arriving alone after the news his grandmother had passed. He and Meghan were already in the UK. A notice of Her Majesty's passing hung on the gates of Buckingham Palace. A few moments ago, Buckingham Palace announced the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Anchors on British television somber as they delivered the news. The Queen passed away earlier today with the family by her side. Pilots alerting passengers mid-flight. The news of the Queen's passing coming after a rare announcement from the palace just hours before, noting the Queen's doctors were concerned for Her Majesty's health. Now her eldest son Charles, now King, saying in a statement, We mourn profoundly the passing of a cherished sovereign and a much-loved mother. I know her loss will be deeply felt throughout the country, the realms, and the Commonwealth, and by countless people around the world. My family and I will be comforted and sustained by our knowledge of the respect and deep affection in which the Queen was so widely held. The Queen performing her duties until the very end, her last photographs taken just three days ago as she swore in the new British Prime Minister Liz Truss at her Scotland castle. Queen Elizabeth II was the rock on which modern Britain was built. Our country has grown and flourished under her reign. Mourners gathering outside Buckingham Palace. Honoring their queen. And TJ, you and I, of course, were here just a few months ago in London celebrating the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, something that this nation had never seen before, a monarch on the throne for 70 years. And because her reign was so long, so unprecedentedly long, Get this, four out of five people who live here in Great Britain have never known any other mar monarch other than Queen Elizabeth. So there is a real sense of sadness and somberness here in Edinburgh and, and across the United Kingdom, and it's understandable. So many people here felt like they lost a mother, a grandmother, a great-grandmother, TJ. And of course, Rob, there'll be so much emphasis and attention at Buckingham Palace and in London in particular, but it's it's something uh, bittersweet and special because she, she passed in a place that was very special to her uh, there in Scotland. Yes, yeah, Scotland was the place she always wanted to be. It's where she summered every year. So many major milestones happened in her life at Balmoral Castle. And so that is the place that she felt most comfortable. It was her ancestral home. In fact, she owns it. Uh, the Crown doesn't own it. Uh, it's, a part of, it's a part of her and her family's history. And so it was very special for her to be here. And that's why there was that contingency plan. If she passed here in Scotland, uh, what would happen next? Because there was a lot of anticipation that that may indeed uh, uh, might have been the case, and certainly that is what happened, TJ. All right. Well, Rose, we appreciate you being there, really. It was a uh, historic times, but you made a heck of a trek to get from here to there and be ready mm -hmm. to roll this morning. So always good to see you. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. <laughs> well, hey.
Hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.